हेलो वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन हाउ टू रीड द टेस्ट केसेस इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द प्रीवियस टॉपिक एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू राइट द टेस्ट केसेस फॉर लॉग इन फंक्शनैलिटी लेट एस सी वॉट इज टेस्ट केसेस ए टेस्ट केस इज डिफाइंड एज ए सेट ऑफ एक्शंस executed to verify a particular feature or functionality of software application the feature it may be a valid or invalid functionalities test case is an indispensable component of software testing life cycle that helps validate the application under the test let us see the difference between test scenario versus test cases test scenarios are rather vague and cover a wide range of possibilities testing is all about being very specific for test scenario check the login functionality the test scenario that contains the number of test cases there are many possible test cases here for example test case 1 checks the results on entering the valid user id and password test case 2 that checks the result on entering invalid user id and password test case 3 that checks response when a user id is empty and login button is pressed and many more let us create a test case for the scenario check the login functionality test the login functionality of any web application this is the one example by providing a email id and password step 1 a simple test case for the this scenario it would be check the response when valid email and password is entered so in order to execute the test case you would need a test data the test data for the test case is email id and password to check the uh, to execute any test case uh, data is required for the testing it test cases in order to execute a test case a tester needs to perform A specific set of actions on the application under test the steps need to be documented to check the response when a valid email and password is entered the steps are enter the email id address enter the password then click on the sign in button so this document is necessary as when the the employee may leave the company or may not available while doing the testing application there may be many reasons so the documentation is very important during the test execution time the tester will check expected results against the actual results and assign a pass or fail test and assign a pass or fail status to test the test case we provide a uh, email id and password the expected result the login should be successful once we provide the valid username and password actual result is also login was successful pass or fail status is pass apart from your test case it may have the feel like preconditions which specify the things that must in place before a test can run for our test case a precondition would be to have a browser installed to have access to the site under the test so for the previous test case the precondition for this is the browser is installed 
A test case may also include post conditions which specify anything that applies after the test case completes. A post condition would be time and data of login is stored in the database. This is the standard format for a test case. The column, first column that indicates test case ID for each test case is identified by a unique ID. So it is not uh, compulsory to give the ID as TU01. It is as per the your convenient. It may be test case one, test case two. So each test case ID is having a test scenario. There is a description of test cases. Then test steps. So how to execute that test scenario? Those steps are re required. Then test data. After providing a uh, test data, the expected results and actual result. After providing a test data, we will get actual result. So this actual result, it should match with the expected result as in, in, the, in this case, the expected result is user should log in to an application. So actual result is as expected we should get. Then the status is pass or fail. So if expected result and actual result, if both are matches, then the status is pass. Then next test case ID, check the customer login with invalid data. So for this invalid data, the same steps we need to follow. The test data and expected results, the user should not log in into the application because we are providing an invalid username and password and the expected result and actual result it should match so the test case is passed suppose by providing a valid invalid username and password and the login is successful then the test case is fail let us pause the video for a while and uh, write test cases for login functionality consider the gmail account login functionality after writing the test cases resume the video let us see the uh, how to write a test cases of login functionality the test cases are written in a, a template normally the test cases are used to write in a word file or in an excel file or any test uh, test case tool management i prefer to use excel file to write the test cases the test case it should have the following fields test case id test cases the description of test cases then priority based on the pre priority of uh, the test cases preconditions input test data the data that we are providing for the test case execution and steps for execution of test cases expected result and actual results then pass or fail status and any remark or comments so these are the fields basic fields that is required for writing the test cases the first case for login functionality test if user is able to log in successfully this is a high priority test case the precondition for this test case is user must be registered already the data for this is the correct username and correct password the steps required enter the correct username and password on the respective fields and click on the submit or login button once after providing the valid username and password 
the actual result note down the actual result that you are observed after login button and the actual result it should match with the expected results so user must uh, successfully log in to the web page if both expected result and uh, actual results are matches then the status is pass so this is about the first test case then the second test case so you can provide the id there is a unique id test case one two test if unregistered user is not able to log in to the site if the user is not registered for a particular web page then he should not able to log in the priority for this test case is also first that is a so we can categorize the priority of test cases as a b c so there is no precondition for this the precondition it may be the browser is installed in the in your computer then uh, input test data so the, you provide a invalid username and invalid password the steps are same you have to enter the invalid username password in a respective fields click on the submit or login button expected result as a proper error must be displayed and prompt to enter the login again because we are providing a invalid username and password it should prompt an in error message the actual result you should note down and if both are same expected result and actual result the particular test case is pass so this is about the how to write a test cases these are the references i referred thank you